Sweet text from Grandma during the holidays. Are you alive or are you the body they found on trail by Slumkirk and Sunbury Road? This week I have the pleasure of exhibiting the results from searching Twitter simply for Grandma text. From sweet innocent mistakes to deliberate trolling. How do you make tuna salad? What? Where buy tuna salad? Grandma, this isn't Google, this is texting. Yeah, mayonnaise. Try to get Grandma to come to the bar. Come to fog cutter, Grandma. Shades emoji. I'm already in bed with my titties nice and comfy and watching Maleficent have a great time and have a drink on me or two I said tootsies my feet you're not titties my grandma tried to text me for the first time what and you go to work sometime lol first text ever from my grandma and it's this starts chat secret BBC filming reveals how easy it is to buy heroin leaves chat grandma sent me this text earlier and I flew out of my room to see what the problem was and she just wanted me to zip up a suitcase. Was not expecting this text from my grandma this morning. This is a hold up. I want your eyelashes and your golden locks. Why my grandma texts me like she just completed a heist? The job at bank is done. Why does my grandma text me like she's about to break up with me? Hey. Why does this text from my grandma sound like one of those, like, man thoughts trying to get his ex back texts? I'm watching a movie with such a beautiful girl lead. She reminds me so of you. Big beautiful eyes and curvy lips like yours. Woke up this morning with a text from grandma. Magic octopus. If you're into a porn, watch Fifty Shades of Grey. I only watched a little. It's definitely an adult movie. I am grandma. My grandma sent me a text of a duck-shaped cucumber she found. Hi, Nicole. How was your field hockey game last night? Did you win? Popper and I enjoyed watching your game. We'll have to come again. Love you, Mima. Yeah, we won. Nothing to three. Great job. Love you, Mims. Can we just discuss how my grandma messaged me on Facebook? She responded five years later. Five years. That was sixth grade. I was honestly shocked to see my grandma text me a jib jab of me twerking presents into a bag. What in the world? Jib jab lol. So my grandma messaged me on Facebook. You've just been mooned. Now go moon someone else. Do not let the mooning stop. Now, why would my grandma text me this, LaMayo? Money's short, times are hard. Here's your fucking Christmas card. Why did my grandma text me this? Are you still up? Yes, lol. Why my grandma text me this? Harry Styles makes a desperate plea as he gets stuck in California. Can you help him? Why did my grandma text me this? Jilly lily illy illy, or... What? Twin Towers. Hope they get to you. It's time for guess what this text from grandma could possibly mean. Thanks. Yeah. One, one, and one. My grandma just got a phone and is attempting to text me. Skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. Hello, Madison. Hello. I... I am tired of this. Hello, Madison. I am tired. A big ass. A big. I don't know. Oh, I am. I'm. At, I'm tired of bullshit. Millville zone. That is all for whoever of your nails. Hello. What beer? Hello, Madison. This is a text from my grandma. I got home and she said, I didn't say any of those words. Dr. Spence appointment, Mondo and Matt. Who is Jane, motherfucker? Your Dr. Pepper appointment. Yeah, yes. Monday at hello. 215. Miracle. Call me. Heard you got an iPhone. If you need any help with it, don't hesitate to call me. Hope all is well. Love, Leon. Palm. Don't worry, it takes some time to learn how to text. Practice makes perfect. Oklahoma! A diggity dog! I just saw a frog! What? Me cooking dinner? Stoned? My grandma accidentally included a wrong number in a group text, lol. Uh, you have the wrong number? What's the right number? Why does my grandma text me things like this? Hey, Els, good news about your job. Can you sort me out a sexy little number for when I meet my toy boy? <laughs> love you. My grandma texts me during graduation. Gotta love her. Where are ya? Go get me some water. So my grandma messaged me on Facebook and said I made their local paper. Tori and Burke's 21 Middletown was fined $200 for speeding. She must perform 20 hours of community service. 11 missed calls. Is Bukaki a restaurant? Locals my age getting married. Me tweeting about anime dilfs. I posted this in Instagram and my grandma messaged me. <gasps> grandma discovered emojis. Be safe driving at night. Look out for fox emojis. We do get foxes running across the road at night. Deer emoji. Well, likewise. Deer love to run across roads. Koala emoji. That's less common. Giraffe emoji. Where does this person live? Gorilla emoji. Llama emoji, rabbit emoji after dark. I don't think my grandma understands the use of emojis. Hello, good morning. How are you doing today? I know you enjoyed at home this weekend. Grandma loves you. Finger! 
hole. Had a seizure in work, so I'm in hospital now and got a CT scan. And my grandma texted me, I thought she'd be all worried. But look what she said. Did they find your brain while you were in there? But we can excuse grandmothers for acting like this when grandchildren aren't exactly much better. Help! I just accidentally texted this to my grandma. I heard you fart. Hey honey, love you. Days like today make me reflect on how fortunate I am to have you as my granddaughter. I love you too, Grandpa, but what's going on today? Neighbourhood Taco Bell shutting down. We've done cursed texts from Grandmas, so I thought it only fair we should offer Grandpas the same deal. However, when I started searching, I noticed these did have a slightly different energy. All because I said no to bingo last night. Missed call, coward. My aunt gave birth this morning and my grandpa is obviously very excited. Okay? Good morning, Taylor! It's a nice morning this morning, 65 degrees while I sit here outside having my cup of coffee. And what do you think about aliens? Nana doing yoga? That isn't Nana! You're right, as a lady next to her, sorry. Not the text you want to get from your grandpa! What you up to? Nothing! Our puppy Harley came down with an unknown illness today and is not doing well. He's at the vet. Please pray for him. Oh no! I hope he's okay! Is it bad? Brisket I made today! Happy birthday, paps! Hope you had a great day! I'm sure mammal spoiled you with a delicious cake. Love you. Received. When you try and be nice and text your grandpa. What's up, my pants? Hi, grandpa. I just wanted to know how you're doing. Good. My friends keep dying. Why does my grandpa text like an NPC presenting me with a quest? Miles, my champion. Do you think you'll be going down the road this fine day? If so, what shops do you go near? So, could you get me a new little rodent, please? What's your cell number? You're texting me. I woke up to this text from my grandpa who never uses his phone. Hollywood! Here's where we were yesterday. Q! Are you having fun? No! Lameo! Yo! So I just got this text from my grandpa of him sitting on Santa's lap. My iPad accidentally returned a phone and looked like the iPhone, but now I cannot get it back. C can the iPad if he uses this iPhone? I don't know what this means. Just got this text from my grandpa. December 4th, 2017. Happy birthday! My birthday is May 12th. How many inches is 59 millimeters? Sorry, I thought I was on goggle. Lol. My favourite Christmas present was my 91-year-old grandpa's attempt to use the speech-to-text function on his new iPhone. How was your Christmas? Uh, did you go to Jennifer's? George got a train and Nerf gun. I hate this stupid motherfucker. I can't tell you how much I hate it. No, no, no. Call me. Hey, hope you have a good day at the melting pot. I'm using Mimi's phone and I'm talking. So upset. I just saw that. I just saw I said Mimi. It should be me mama, no mama, me mama, no me mom, me mom. Oh, well. Hi, Sean. This is Grandpa practicing your sex tape. Uh, call Maine. Practicing your sex tape sex tape. Grandpa meant texting, but it, it, it came out as sex tape. Every time I text my grandpa, he replies with this, thinking it's okie dokie. Okay, I'll be over in a few. Okay, donkey. Anyone care to dig this morn in the mutton? Ugh. What? My grandpa signs all of his texts. Love GP, so we know it's him. Great job, Hannah. Show what pretend you have. Ethan, sorry to hear about your finger. Love GP. And then usually drops his phone. Six on nine K mnemonics. This is the first and only text I've ever received from my grandpa. Have you ever seen Mother Hesbray? <laughs> That's good music and dancing. Calm tomorrow, love, Drew Daddy. Yet, yet, five. To yet. <laughs> huh? Be careful coming home. <laughs> Aren't you into texting? My grandpa just absolutely flexing on me on this text I just got. A very happy birthday to you, Blake. Nanny and I love you and wish you the best. Just for your information, nine months after my 24th birthday, I was married taking care of a mansion in Hyde Park and working on a special project for NASA. Hi Grandpa, it's Chelsea. And I'm dead in my grandpa's text. What is life? I'm dead. Looks like a tasty bird outside. <laughs> my cat just brought me a half-eaten mouse. They ate the head. At least they didn't eat the ass. Merry Christmas. I got you an iPad. Uh, Jacob, what is a cow that's had a calf? Decaffeinated. If you're ever feeling good about yourself and need to be brought down to earth, text my grandpa. You guys, that's £15 since Paris. How's your weight looking old man. The scale is broken, fake news, who wager Trump? Hi Poppy Owl, this is me today, my mum visited and brought the dogs. How are you? You look hot as hell. My nickname in college was Willy Gooch. Wow, look how low that plane is. <laughs> this is a random text I got from my grandpa the other day.
If anyone is wondering why this message can't be transcribed, it's book it's three minutes of my grandpa mowing the yard. I have six other voicemails just like it. Happy birthday, Lucy! You are my first grandchild and special. I remember the day you were born. I hope you are happy and well. My dad was shot down on the 31st of March 1943 on a bombing mission over Linz, Austria during World War II. Love, Grandpa. My grandpa's reply to Verizon's data over usage text. No, please, can somebody tell me what this text from my grandpa means? Up and out on a pull up with OG. Deciduous tree emoji, gust emoji, is that the Santa emoji? HTI! My grandpa randomly texted me this custard emoji, 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 cuss me, 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 dog, custard emoji, custard emoji, fifty one more custard emojis. A tweet here from Matt Walsh, who is a I don't know. Every day I see more grown. Adult men use emojis. There is no excuse for this. Emojis are for children and women. Do you think your great grandfather would have been caught dead using emojis if the internet existed back then? Have some self respect, for God's sake. This was combated with the tweet I mean, my grandpa uses them in text all the time, and he's a veteran of the Air Force, and he's the toughest guy I know. Katie, I'm sitting here eating your shepherd pie. Thank you. Matt Walsh's version of masculinity is dumb. It is dumb. That's why I tweeted Matt Walsh with the custard emoji 132 times, the most you can fit into one tweet. Now, what would be funny, of course, is if you watching this had a Twitter also tweeted Matt Walsh with 132 custard emojis. Not mentioning this video, of course, so little Matt Walsh wakes up with no idea where all these custard emojis have come from. Obviously, I'm not advocating this. Don't do this, because that would be awful for little Matt Walsh to wake up with millions of custard emojis. <laughs> I hate school, I want to unexist. Hi, Professor, I attached the project. See you after break. Uh, how are you feeling? I think you attached uh, the wrong image. I really just accidentally sent an Instagram video of mac and cheese to my ceramics teacher with the comment, NUT. Just accidentally sent this to my elementary school gym teacher. Your first mistake was thinking I was weak. I hate myself so much, this is my teacher. I composed a draft tweet for myself and accidentally sent it to her. OMG, it's Michael Jackson! Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> so, uh, I was gonna send my math homework to my teacher, but I accidentally sent a GigaChad image. I accidentally sent my teacher this when trying to ask them to print out my mask process. Donald. I accidentally sent my French teacher a photo of a frog. That time I accidentally sent a nude to my Afrikaans teacher. Connor accidentally sent my health teacher a photo of me eating cake instead of the assignment. Oh my god. I accidentally sent my teacher the <sighs> emoji I want a fucking hug <laughs> deed. So in history, I accidentally sent my teacher the wrong file. Instead of a picture of Hitler, I sent him this. My little sister accidentally just sent this to her teacher, LeMayo. Hey motherfucker, fist shit grin emoji. Pack your shit, cause we go to 2017 together. Cause you my homie, my ride will die. If I don't get one back, well fuck you. Now, send this to 20 people. Bad luck starts now, hope I get one back. I accidentally sent a picture of pants to my physics teacher. Long story short, I accidentally sent my math teacher three emails of Matt LeBlanc shirtless. I accidentally sent this message to my teacher. For real, 15 minute break is not enough for us to poop. I accidentally sent my teacher an inappropriate vine instead of my final video. That vine being... Good morning, I just accidentally sent around 40 photos of squirrels eating pizza to my ninth grade history teacher. Accidentally sent my teacher an unrated version of Hot Tub Time Machine instead of my final. I accidentally sent my teacher, enjoy half twerm! One time I sent my teacher this picture accidentally. She printed it and handed it to me the next day. I was trying to submit my math homework, but I accidentally sent this to my teacher instead! Always double check the files you send, because I accidentally sent my teacher something my cousins made on my laptop. Hey Lee, try again. You sent something about a Minecraft bunny and Mario and Luigi. So I accidentally sent this to my teacher. How's your day going? I've done my CV and cover letter. I just need to finish the presentation. Stop ignoring me, you Bugs Bunny looking bu-
My sister! Oh no god! I sent my teacher an email and accidentally put bet in the signature instead of best. When lol autocorrects itself to anal and I accidentally sent it to my teacher. I accidentally sent an email to my teacher that said do not email me again. At Elon Musk. A dear Mr. Musk. That may sound strange now, but I have a big problem. I accidentally sent my teacher this picture attached to the tweet instead of the picture of my homework. I need to get to Mars as soon as possible. Help me! I'm not joking. Bam! I accidentally sent this to my teacher. I accidentally sent a political fanfic with a semi-naked picture of Putin to my teacher. Help! Sir, this was meant to be sent to somebody else. I'm so sorry to get involved. Can we please not mention this? My guitar teacher had to airdrop me music, but also accidentally sent me this at the same time. I fell asleep while writing an email to my teacher, and this is what it said. Oh, and I accidentally sent it. Hi, Professor Talkington. I apologise for my absence in class today, as I've been home sick with work... Uh, eh, Son. I tried airdropping this to my friend and I accidentally sent it to our chemistry teacher. I accidentally sent you fat cow to my teacher instead of my friend and when she said excuse me I replied with no but autocorrect changed it to moo. If you're embarrassed about a typo just remember my aunt accidentally sent oh sorry you ain't dick instead of sorry you were sick to my cousin's teacher. My 11 year old nephew's classmate got sent home from school today because he named an assignment in Google Docs a oh, fuck this shit. And accidentally sent it to the teacher. I submitted a research paper and realised my teacher could see the title after I turned it in. LOL! RIP my chances of going to college too. PDF. I just accidentally submitted a paper with this title. Are you fucked? I didn't realise you could see what I named my file. I'm dropping out. Fuck my holes. Today I made an incredible mistake. I submitted a paper with my filler title. Top 10 anime betrayals. Just submitted my final paper and accidentally called my professor. Captivating title. Wow. Grab that hose attack. Attention. And lastly, we end on one that I didn't source direct from Twitter myself. It's from one of those meme websites, so please excuse if it looks a little odd. I accidentally submitted a paper worth 35% of my grade with this intro, but I was tired and forgot to delete. I'm gonna cry. Fuck! Are you all ready for the introduction to this essay? Buckle your seatbelts, motherfuckers, because in eight short pages, I'm going to teach you something that I only learned two hours ago. So sit down, shut up, and enjoy the experience of my 4am caffeine-induced, self-hatred-fueled writing extravaganza. Therapist. There to help you better understand yourself. And so they are trained listeners. Every word you say, and even the smallest and most subconscious of signals. Therapist texted me to ask if I can reschedule. I accidentally sent her a dagger emoji instead of thumbs up. Just accidentally texted this to my therapist instead of my mum. I could stalk people now. <laughs> I accidentally sent a screenshot of my therapist to my therapist. Killed a pigeon with my car and accidentally sent my therapist a viral video of a pug farting into a balloon. How's your Saturday going? Accidentally sent my therapist an extra photo when sending her my class schedule. Hi Susanna, I'm so sorry I didn't send my schedule, I lost track of time. Here's my class schedule, uh here's, ah, uh, accidentally sent cum cuddle to my therapist. I accidentally sent a screenshot of this tweet to my therapist and I blame you. This tweet's being Tommy in it, my balls are my guilty pleasure. Happy anniversary to the time I accidentally texted this nightmare to my therapist. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I accidentally sent my therapist a picture of me sitting alone drinking two large beers at a bar an hour before I was coming in to see her. Accidentally sent a meme directed at the group chat to my therapist today. Good morning, I have her scheduled for 2pm. I won't tolerate this. I accidentally sent a text to therapist asking them to fuck an appointment for Wednesday instead of fix an appointment. Yo, I just accidentally sent my therapist a link to KFC Crocs. No! <laughs> accidentally just sent this video video to my therapist. <laughs> Forgot to pay my therapist and then accidentally sent her a gif of someone laughing when she wrote to remind me. My sister accidentally sent an audio message to her therapist instead of me. Calling now. We're almost home. Please give me like five minutes. I I'm so sorry. I'm ready now. I want a burrito so bad. Oh my god, they look so good. I keep seeing food ASMRs about them. They look bomb AF. Oh my gosh, I meant to send that to my sister! I accidentally sent a TikTok of a Mike Wazowski flashlight to my therapist. I'm starting with a new therapist tomorrow and I had to send her scans of some signed forms, but I accidentally sent her this instead. Go set the jable. It's time for dinner. I accidentally sent this 
fucking sticker to my therapist. I meant to send a meme to my friend group chat and I sent it to my therapist on accident. So, uh, when you see your friend that died five years ago walking around with his big titty necromancer GF, y you did it, y you crazy son of a bitch. Y you did it. That last one was not to you. So I was to the group chat and I got distracted by a chipmunk. Ignore that. Fuck. <laughs> accidentally just sent a thanks you two to my therapist after he wished me a good weekend. To be honest, the only reason I included this one is because it has a juicy keyboard smash I wanted to stretch myself with. Ah, oh, sock jab, doc nand, puddin' wain, lex snack, whoopin' squalls. Still got it. I just sent this to my therapist on accident. I crave emotional intimacy. Oh my god, that was an acid net. I just accidentally told my therapist I've been feeling pretty Hoggers. Accidentally texted my therapist Yeehaw when letting them know about my last minute move. Scholar Moji! I accidentally sent this to my therapist. Oh my god, Sh she left me on red too. <laughs> I just accidentally sent my therapist $1,400 instead of $140. Dream posted more snaps on his Snapchat. I accidentally sent those to my therapist! No, you were roasting a small child to your husband and accidentally sent four messages to your therapist, woozy face emoji. Accidentally sent this wonderful typo to Daniel, my massage therapist. 745 works. Great, I'll see you then. Did you want a 40 min or 60? Uh, let's do 69. My therapist sent me this silent video by accident when trying to log on to our FaceTime appointment and I will treasure it forever. We end wholesomely with not me being dramatic and accidentally sending the wrong text to my therapist at work. Almost wrecked and my food flew down into my floorboard and now I can't eat my fries. Oh my god, wrong text. That sounds tragic. I hope that the intended recipient of the message can fully appreciate and empathise with your struggle. Good luck out there. It is a cruel world. It is a cruel world, and it's okay to reach out. Never be scared of talking to a therapist. Except this one. I've got to be the dumbest guy ever. Who this? We were looking for Jonathan regarding a potential job interview. Thank you. We've looked at things accidentally sent whilst studying and things accidentally sent whilst trying to get a job. Now the job is yours, so for God's sake, don't accidentally send anything else. Today I was trying to text my sister, but I accidentally texted my boss. Bitch, do you want this tea? I accidentally sent my boss this while not paying attention. Mmm. I accidentally texted my boss this today. Yeah, someone told them to uh, come at three. Baby, you're fine as fuck. I'm so sick that I missed work, and I just accidentally sent my boss this photo instead of a photo of my doctor's note. You ready to see this? Ah. I just accidentally text my manager saying, Mummy, are you at work? I accidentally sent my manager a video of me eating a pickle going on a lunch. Fingers crossed I don't accidentally text my boss saying, I was drunk like I did last week. I accidentally sent my boss four screaming slugs. I accidentally messaged my boss, beautiful bench, a very cute bench, brand new, comes with the cushion. Bunch. One Friday, I meant to send the FFF update to my work friends in our group chat and accidentally sent it to my boss. What is the FFF update, I hear you ask? Well, it's Gators Daily, it's this beast, and it's Flat Fuck Friday, you fucking cowards. Unrelated, I have a performance review today. I accidentally text my boss, he's smash, instead of yes ma'am today. I accidentally sent my manager a message saying, give me head instead of gunner head. Did I just accidentally text my boss, Freaky. Instead of Friday, yes. Accidentally text my boss asking him to open my parsnip instead of payslip. Accidentally message my boss, you go, tit. Instead of you got it. Accidentally text my boss, a bacon, earlier. No idea what I was trying to spell. Accidentally sent my boss a emoji of Violet from Willy Wonka. Well, I was going to post this. I feel like I can finally breathe easy. Do you come here often? Then I accidentally sent it to my boss. His wife. I just accidentally sent my boss a text that says Yoff. Well, obviously Yoff's not a Yoff's not a thing, so we're gonna need more context. You don't just accidentally text someone Yoff. No uh, leaders meeting tonight. Okay, thanks. Yoff. Oh my god. Thinking about the day I accidentally sent my boss an email that contained only this image. I accidentally sent my manager a hello text. Fuck my life. I accidentally sent my boss a text saying I hate. 
working with her. Can't say shit. I went to accidentally text my boss asking for weed. Okay, so I accidentally sent my boss a spam email about women's health on how to lose seven pounds in seven days. Jake, why are you sending me this? Scott, I, I honestly don't know. I, I didn't send that. I I I'm sorry. The other day, I tried to send my co-worker a link to the video of Megan the Stallion twerking while Lizzo played the flute, but I accidentally sent it to my boss. Just accidentally text my boss saying, When can I see you? I accidentally sent my boss this. Clit. Accidentally sent my boss a motivation picture from 2010. I just wanted to send him a turkey pizza. We were unveiling our new turkey dinner pizza. Mashed potatoes, cheese and turkey on top. You missed out. Dang it. One. Did it look like this? In case you forgot to remind yourself this morning, your butt is perfect. Your smile lights up the room. Your mind is insanely cool. You are way more than enough, and you are doing an amazing job at life. No, it's a hexages. I accidentally sent my boss the uh, poop emoji at 1 a.m. Oh my god, I accidentally sent my manager the other manager's numbers. So if you could let them know, I'd appreciate it. Spurt emoji was walking along and accidentally text my boss. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> Mm hmm. Just accidentally sent it to my boss. Knee. E. Pointing down. Cold sweats. Pointing down. Cold sweats. Cold sweats. Pointing down. 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 Cold sweats. Pointing down. Pointing down. Cold sweats. Pointing down. Pointing down. Cold sweats. Pointing down. Pointing down. Pointing down. Cold sweats. Pointing down. 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 Cold sweats. Pointing down. Pointing down. Pointing down. Cold sweats. Pointing down. Four. Pounds, pointing down three, pointing down fifty four, pointing down forty four pounds, pounds, fifty four pounds, pointing down four, weeping four, weeping, weeping four cents, different colour pointing down four pounds, pounds, fucking hell. I accidentally sent my manager a pic of the callus on my toe and not the receipt to my work shoes. My best friend and general manager are both named Jen in my phone. I accidentally sent my manager, let's fuck shit up this weekend, bitch. You you guys want to see the meme I accidentally sent my boss instead of my fiance? Fat wet pussy. Positive. Gorilla grip coochie. Positive. Silky throat. Positive. Covid-19. Negative. Quit my job yesterday and went to text Derek and accidentally text my boss saying, Miss you. Wanna squish you. I just accidentally messaged my boss telling him I'm getting a wax. This brought me back to the time I accidentally messaged my boss instead of my girl. And then for flavour there's just a lo 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 lovely little uh, skull emoji there. Where are you at? I'm here, baby. I'm gonna call you in a bit. Huh? No! Oh, why did I accidentally text my boss that? Hey, it's Tyler. I'm probably gonna be a little late by like 20 minutes today. There's a car crash on my Karen. Okay, thank you. Fuck! I accidentally sent my manager a sexual message. He said, my friend, I'm hook a just buck just ya. Hook a just buck a just ya. What a lovely keyboard smash that is. Sorry there haven't been more instances of me reading out keyboard smashes in this video, but at the end of the day, I want to appear young and cool, and I don't think keyboard smashes are the way to do that. I accidentally sent my boss a key smash as a response, and then had to try and explain it, Chasm Dunjuk. Story, cuff of hudge. <gasps> What's cuff of hudge? Sorry, it's, it's a key smash? Like a filler non-word to express a complicated emotion? You young'uns fascinate me. Young'uns? What's that? Keyboard smashes are considered youthful, are they? Maybe, maybe we'll do a few more then. I just accidentally sent my ex a friend request on Facebook. And Juxi Warwick, Gen 1 Juxi Woo, Jui Soto Wisu, help! <laughs> accidentally sent this to my ex-BF with zero context. I just sent my ex a picture of my forehead that said I'm the eggiest egg you've ever known on accident. We haven't talked in literally two years. I just accidentally sent my ex the Snapchat Bitmoji sticker where it's you watching the other person sleep. Accidentally sent this to my ex-husband instead of 14 year old son, fearful face emoji. Time for bed mate. Have you done your homework? I accidentally sent my ex-BF, whom I haven't talked with in years, a 
severally descriptive paragraph about me holding in a shit. You think you can hurt me? I accidentally sent my ex a picture of a kitchen towel with a minion saying banana on it. When I ordered my mum a birthday card, I accidentally sent my ex a happy anniversary card from three years ago. Moon Pig has a lot to answer for. Sent my ex a screenshot of his own Instagram by accident. I accidentally sent my ex a Snapchat of me in a green face mask with the caption Shrek 5 coming soon. Accidentally sent my ex a relationship quiz off BuzzFeed instead of sending it to good old Carrie Ann's 24 and uh, he took it. Oh no. Still traumatised that last week I accidentally messaged my ex this meat has gone bad and couldn't unsend it so in panic mode I love reacted it. Accidentally sent my ex my Snapchat premium link. Skull emoji. 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 Thinking about the time when I accidentally sent my ex a shirt that just said Spice Rat <laughs> on it because I wanted it for myself. Boo their address auto completed as my shipping address for whatever reason. I just accidentally sent my ex a video of an uncooked chicken shaking its ass. Accidentally sent my ex a video of a nightmarishly animatronic baby shubal stalk. I accidentally sent this to my ex. Nut. Accidentally sent my ex a video of a long furb. Oh, I wonder which one. Oh, Accidentally sent my ex that I haven't seen in like five years a video of me dancing in my pyjamas to Skater Boy. I just remembered that time I accidentally sent my ex a video of an uncooked turkey shaking its ass and I wanted to hey 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 you said you I don't care if this tweet's six years old you said it was a chicken. Skull emoji 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 I sent my ex 250 quid by accident. Accidentally sent this to my ex. Peace was never an option eight times. Oh my god, I accidentally sent my ex a video of a meme of someone drawing a fucking cat. I just accidentally sent my ex an entire packet of poetry. Well, that's not that bad. That's about her. Snooping on Snap and I accidentally sent my ex my location. And the only thing I could think to say was, well, n n now you know where I am. So today's going well. I just accidentally sent my ex a video of me singing, well, you're a nice guy. I'll think about it. Maybe exo baby. And so I hope she knows that means I'm thriving. Scullamoji, 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 I accidentally sent this to my ex and we aren't on speaking terms. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Just accidentally sent my ex my McDonald's order. Accidentally sent my ex-wife the thick Grinch. Accidentally sent my ex a meme about sucking dick. I accidentally sent my ex's divorce attorney a Facebook friend request while we were getting divorced. So what do I know? Skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. He mad. Yo, I just sent my ex and my uncle pictures of my ah. Uh, oh, do you know what? That's that's enough Twitter for today. Stickers for when an emoji just won't do. I accidentally sent this sticker to my lecturer. I loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji. There you go. Accidentally sent this sticker to my local pharmacy and only noticed after they'd already seen it. With Panadol. How much is Panadol? Advance or joint? I would the regular one, the light blue box. Mmm. I broke up with someone on Christmas Eve and then accidentally sent them this sticker immediately afterwards. Merry Christmas! Bro, I sent the wrong sticker. I'm being bullied by these people, Riley! Stupid bitch. I'd fucked up while texting my dad. We were sending stickers to each other and I accidentally sent him super Nut. There have been times when I accidentally sent the wrong sticker on Telegram, but this moment from last weekend takes the cake. So, uh, my Tito died this morning, so I don't think I can push through today. And then, you know, an appropriate sticker. Oh no! Okay, noted. Condolences, analog sad face emoji. Gosh, the timing. I know, right? Thanks, BB. Hmm! Wrong sticker! Jesus Christ! I just accidentally sent a sticker of a Yeti and Bigfoot DJing to my manager. Sent the wrong sticker. Sorry, Mum. I will hold Diwali's on the four. I believe there are actually two different pronunciations for this. Let me just cover the other one so you've got no excuse to have a go at me in the comments. I will hold Diwali is on the four. Shut up! My dad works for the CIA and can get your entire neighbourhood addicted to crack. Today's highlight wanted to reply to my family group chat and didn't have enough energy to compose one while on my morning walk, so 
I put my phone in my pocket and... He accidentally sent a sticker of Pepper drinking bleach. Translation, Dad, what? why is this picture? Help, my project mates were arguing and I was trying to type, Guys, calm down, but I accidentally sent this sticker. I couldn't breathe, but couldn't come to you, couldn't and fun, 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 zuck, zuck. Lameo and Anna did most of the work, and I came up with the counterclaim. The sticker, Saxons and Ange! Help is dead silence before you can dig zig dig smucks and C D Nad Nad Jad Jad I guess it kinda worked then. <laughs> oh. My dad just sent me a pic of a dying hummingbird talking about how he can't save it, and I accidentally just fucking sent him this sticker as a response. Oh my god! I found a plant for his final resting place. You poor little guy. <laughs> I just accidentally sent this sticker to my dad. <laughs> Tell me now. Skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. I sent this sticker to my senior manager by mistake. Send in the clowns. Cute boy being nice, and then I accidentally send a fucking sticker. What? Sorry. My BF and I were sexting, and then I accidentally sent this sticker. My dad sent me this little girl throwing a kiss, and I mistakenly tapped the wrong sticker. Loudly crying face emoji. I'll give you head, not headaches. Anyways, he left me on red. I could repeat I bro sent the wrong sticker. Ah! No, 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 stop. I'm not sure whether it's my fingers or nerves or a change in the iOS keyboard, but in the last week I've sent this sticker to two colleagues unintentionally and now I can't look them in the eye. Hey Jim, what's the address for tomorrow? <laughs> Mistakenly sent a sticker to my boss. You have like a schedule, right? Also, you know, uh, he needs to submit some documents. Hi, Genevieve, I didn't understand. Is this your cat? Lol, so my ex messaged me. Hey, hope everything's going great for you. I uh, don't know if you got my texts. And I accidentally sent that cat sticker. What, uh, what's that? When you try to be wholesome with your friends, but you accidentally send this sticker. Hi, I love you all. D dun 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 fuck! I'm good nud mud some punch as Jazak. I accidentally sent this sticker on my class group. Going insane! Wow, shut up or I'll kiss you when we get home. Yes, please. Oh, no, no, no! I accidentally replied with that sticker when I tried to send the kissy heart emoji! I only have one sticker and obviously I accidentally send it to someone I work with. Hey, do you have plans tonight? I do not. Eat peel naya, which translates to eat dick. You seamstress. Sorry, that was an accolade. This, I mean, accident. I'm sorry, my hands are wet. It's now been long enough to emotionally recover. It's about three weeks for me to share that I accidentally sent a porn meme signal sticker to my boyfriend's family in a cat-sitting group chat. She loves sitting on Parker's desk when he's not at it. Oh, oh no. I meant to send a picture of Cookie, not that sticker. Oh, job. I mean, no. But let's not let phone messaging stickers take all the blame. I sent a picture of this bumper sticker to my therapist by mistake. Oh my fucking god. This is my schedule going forward if it's easier to have it written. Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to send that photo of that bumper sticker. What's that sticker you sent there? Well, it's a slightly drunk Jesus. That's uh, some good spaghetti! Grandpa Rick, I am skull emoji, but word. Okay, so what the hell was the deal with these guys, huh? Now I'm sure you either owned one, had a friend that owned one, or at the very least are familiar with these such pictures of them, but these are Furbies. They are small robots designed, apparently, to look like owls, and they speak a made-up language called Furbish, which gradually evolves to them speaking English. Their front-facing eyes suggest them to be predators, and they were banned from the Pentagon for fears of recording classified information. They have no off switch. Now I never had a Furby as a kid, but all my friends seemed terrified of theirs. To find out why, I scoured Reddit and Twitter for stories, as well as asking you guys on the community page. Thank you to every single one of you who commented, I wish I could include them all. Do watch to the end of this video for one such story about a malfunctioning toy, which I genuinely think is one of the best stories I've ever heard. But before that, a few years ago my cousin and I were hanging out in her room when I found her old Furby. I was looking at it when it started making some weird noise, so I chunked it into the open closet. It landed staring at us and slowly opened its mouth and started its Furby death screech. 
We beat the fuck out of it for the next five minutes until it finally died. Had a terrifying experience with my Furby who after some time it just would not sleep. I'd wake up to these sounds of demands for food or strange giggling. The worst part is that the Furby was on the shelf right across my bedroom so I'd wake up and look across the room to it just blankly staring at me like Oh night I do nom 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 Wah! I'll always remember the day when my Furby malfunctioned. Screaming constantly, only punctuated by garbled electronic whirring and scrambled vocal sounds while its eyes looked frantically around and its mouth bit the air in futility. Did you gaze too long into the abyss? What did you learn, Furby? I was devoted to my Furby, but eventually it ran out of batteries and was reduced to a paperweight. Then one night, I accidentally pushed it off my desk and went and its eyes rolled down into its face so that the wires were visible. There were no batteries inside it. When my Furby runs out of batter, its eyes turn black. It's like it's staring into your soul. I'm going to assume they mean battery. I hope they mean battery. My Furby danced to loud music and yelled so much, my lizard shat himself in the car. I'll never forget the time my Furby woke up for the first time in a decade and wished me happy birthday on my birthday. Not mine, but a kid I knew back in middle school. One day, his house burned down. They were going through the wreckage and he uncovered a Furby his sister owned. The thing was burnt badly and one side of its face was missing. It was still croaking out in a broken mechanical voice. Feed me. At Tori Oldana, remember when my Furby tried to kill me that one time? Yeah, well it's buried in my closet and I just heard it sing. I remember that I used to have a talking Furby and for some reason I tried to drown it. So I think that messed it up a bit because it started talking in this weird demonic voice and asking me to play with it. My religious parents thought it was a demon or something so they got a priest to come bless our house. This is probably heaps common but whatever is inside Furby's heads that holds their eyes up broke in my one and he was forever staring down at me from the top shelf of my room overlooking my bed. E.g. Uh, everyone knows how terrifying their eyes are when they're staring at you in the face. Me, knowing this, taped them shut, only to have them open the next morning. I re-gifted the Furby. Me and my little brother once got two Furbies for Christmas. They were kind of cute until one of them suddenly swapped personalities into a disgusting drunk middle-aged man who would burp, fart and make weird comments in a really strange voice and we spent hours trying to get it to switch back. Me and my brother referred to this as going rogue. Both of our Furbies went rogue several times after that and every time it happened we'd run away in terror screaming it's happening again, Furby is going rogue. What the fuck? I woke up in the middle of the night once in like fourth grade to go to the bathroom and it was one of those holy shit I'm about to wet my bed midnight peas. So I got up and headed towards my light switch. It was by my dresser and the Furby was on it and right before I turned the light on I bumped into the dresser and the Furby fell onto the hardwood floor and started screeching. Instantly peed my pants and I'm pretty sure pooped a little. I think my Furby murdered someone. That's not how you spell murdered. That's not even how you spell Furby. I one had a Furby, my brother's actually, and one day I jammed a bamboo pole in its mouth and hid it. All you could hear got the next two weeks was a far away om nom 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 I don't know what the fuck was wrong with my Furby. It, it told us its name was Coco but sometimes referred to itself as Yokonuma. It would always request to play hide and seek. It didn't consider itself hidden unless it was somewhere dark but apparently this Furby was also afraid of the dark and would let out a horrible wailing noise until you took it out of its hiding spot. It did this if you covered its sensor to try to make it go to sleep too. Just screamed. Oh no, beans are horrible. Hated them ever since my sister tried to feed them to my Furby as a kid. Open his mouth to find a mouldy bean. My brother's Furby bit my genitalia. I woke up to one fingering my ass. Edit. Oh, you said Furby, not furry. Let's take that as a cue to stop and take a quick look at the wiki page of Furby glitches. Some great stuff here, but I'm going to draw your attention to these three. Sometimes they can have deep voices for no apparent reason. Sometimes your Furby dances and then dies. And Furby sometimes uses its mouth as its eyes. Or its eyes as its mouth. I'm now starting to understand why, when I used to go in my friends' houses and wake their Furbies up, they would react, No, no, God, what have you done? This next story is a bit long, so whilst I read it, we'll look at some of the pictures that were kindly sent to me by someone in the Furby community leading up to this video. My parents had just bought our house, and we were busy painting the walls and cleaning the various cupboards. I was painting my room when out of nowhere, I hear my grandmother scream bloody murder. I was the first one to get to her, and she was yelling demon in Persian. <laughs> Sorry, she was yelling demon in Persian, she doesn't speak English, and pointing towards the closet door. I slowly make my way towards the closet and open the door. On the shelf, directly eye level, was a fucking pink baby Furby. The previous owners must have painted its eyes because they were the colour of blood red with big black pupils. It blinked and said, Ah, me love you. 
My Furby suddenly started speaking Russian and then Portuguese reversed. When I got mine, it also started screeching and singing in a devilish way, Mama is coming. You know when you put something in the mouth stroke beak, it'd say Furbalicious or something? Well, one time the batteries died during this, so you got the whole do pitching and slowing down effect. Went from normal Furber to lower than sulfur hexafluoride speech, Licious. Imagine being that kid with a toy that used to go, Furby Licious. One time my Furby said, I can't see, and 10 seconds later my power went out. I didn't own it, but my friend had some kind of knockoff Furby that couldn't turn off, and on a sleepover, the thing just turned on, said, I'm tired and jumped off the shelf directly onto his face. Shortly after my first cat died, I think I was four or five, my parents got me a Furby. The first thing it said out of the box, Kitty all gone, and burped. Ten years after the last time I touched it, in a box under my bed, at two in the morning, my Furby said, Kabu Kuda, out of nowhere. My Furby's starting to malfunction, so I stuffed it in a drawer, and when I went to sleep, I just heard, hee hee hee, repeatedly from across the room. I dropped mine, and now instead of saying cock-a-doodle-doo when it wakes up, it just says cock over and over and over in a very rapid manner. I had a buddy who told his Furby to fuck off once, and the Furby said, you, without missing a beat. I used to have one, and it just kept saying something like, I hate you, on repeat, until my parents removed the batteries. Years back, a friend gave me a Yoda Furby toy thing. It was horrifying. It did all the normal Furby stuff, but with the addition of Yoda speak. Like everyone else, I moved it to the top shelf of my closet. The noises that came out of that thing as the batteries died are what nightmares are made of. Horrible, gurgling, FURRED, I What we didn't realise was the Furby was a Spanish Furby, which doesn't seem that strange until you've woken up to it screaming HOMBRE in the middle of the night. When we decided to sell my Furby, we put it in a plastic bag, and when we carried it downstairs, it sobbed louder than I've ever heard it go, and yelled there's something in my eye. I remember when my Furby went bad. It kept yelling, Cocoa, which was its name, and wouldn't stop. Hashtag scarred for life. The night after I fixed up my Furby boom with some batteries, my mother made the mistake of putting it in her room. Suddenly, a very loud and squeaky voice begins yelling, I'm changing, repeatedly over and over, the pitch slowly decreasing into that of something from the deep layers of hell. So if you shoot certain laser tag guns at the Furbies with the IR sensors, you can occasionally scramble them in weird ways. When we did it, we got it to make a couple surprising squawks, but little else. However, when my sister got to talk to me Barbie, it would learn these terrifyingly demonic chants. So I'd wait for my sister to pick the doll up, shoot it, and it would scream, Whoa, ba 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 kalashi lashi. Here is a story I was talking about, which I think is my new favourite story of all time. I once had this Woody toy, who was made of fabric and supposed to say, Hi, I'm Woody, the new sheriff in town, directly translated from my language. We had some rat problems at our old home, so a rat bit his chest open, took his speaker thing and ran away with it into the wall. I have no idea how many times I was woken up by that every week. Now, I've had rat problems in previous homes, and I can't tell you how unsettling it is, but what would certainly certainly make it worse is if a rat is running around your home saying, I'm the new sheriff in town. Now look, I enjoyed making this video, and as Rat Sheriff suggests, I have plenty of other stories now from you guys about other malfunctioning toys. So I might do a second part to this, not on Furbies, but on all the other toys that have somehow got fucked up and done weird things. If you have any such tales for me, then please, as Furby would say, leave them in the comments. Leave them in the comments, is what I just said. I am utterly overwhelmed at the response to that bloody Furby video of mine, not to mention all the fan art that it's prompted. It's also brought up so many incredible stories from yourselves that of course we have a part two. We'll be looking at all manner of corrupted toys in this one, but we will just start by looking quickly again at our old friends, the Furbies. One time in the middle of the night, I woke up to mine saying, hide, hide, over and over. My mum hates Furbies. She was babysitting these kids who had a Furby once, she went to read them a story, and the Furby yelled, BORING! My Furby walked into a washing machine, and one of its eyes popped out, now it just constantly says hungry every four seconds. Never had one myself, but a friend of mine did, and his was able to pick up radio stations briefly. One time it caught a traffic alert on a music station, and just repeated, BACK UP, in a super deep voice for the rest of the day. I had a Furby once, it disappeared from my room one day, and I've never seen it again. I live in constant fear. I had a Furby that randomly died one night while my family was travelling, letting out a headache-inducing squeal for several minutes before we were able to pull 
pull out the batteries. After that, the Furby would only turn on randomly and speak in a broken low voice. It was like Goofy talking through a cheese grater. Goofy talking through a cheese grater? That is an astonishing analogy. Obviously, unfortunately, we've got no way of actually knowing what that would sound like. Gosh, I think it. I'll never forget that week that my Furby woke up every night for 12 days at exactly 2 in the morning and would sing like a maniac because the battery compartment eroded. I remember when my Furby started going rogue, the only way to get it to switch back personalities again was to put it in a room and only play jazz music. Me and my friend were freaking out over my Furby Connect because its voice was glitching out for some reason. Then one of us yelled, you're a demon at it! And the second the sentence ended, it just turned off. Black eyes and everything. My Furby hasn't ever done anything weird. She's sat on my windowsill for years and hasn't made a sound. That's still weird. Okay, so I still have this Furby and one of the personalities it could have was a ninja. Me and my parents tried for hours to get it to change, but when it did change, it changed to the clown. As for the awful part, over the last few years, it has triggered the awakening, as we call it. Last time it was in the middle of a party and it terrified the guests, its drunken voice screaming about eggs and bacon. I had a Furby as a kid, claimed its name was Melon. One day when we were packing up to move house, I found my Furby. It proceeded to chant pancakes over and over until the batteries were taken out. My youngest sister used to have a how to train your dragon toy that was similar to a Furby. Almost every night at any time between 2am and 6am it would begin to loudly and very deeply grunt, wheeze and heavily breath for up to 15 minutes at a time. I had this weird ass toy called a booba when I was a kid. He was orange and was just like a Furby if furries were scarier and from the darkest corner of hell. One day its batteries died but was still kind of juiced so he malfunctioned and wouldn't turn off. So occasionally whether I was playing in my room during the day or trying to sleep at night I would hear this creepy ass terrifying radio crackling on and off demon voice winding down slowly while singing Booba. Bloody hell. Weird question, but I wonder if this person ever actually shat themselves when this was happening. Before anyone asks, yes, I did shit myself from time to time when it went off. I used to have a teddy bear called Pudding as a baby that would sing happy birthday to you every time you pushed his belly. Recently found him in a cupboard, pushed his belly, sounded like he was being waterboarded. Had this kookaburra stuffed animal with the most nightmarish voice box. It would always end up down the side of my bed underneath a bunch of other toys. So in the middle of the night I'd turn in my bed and squish the pile of toys and sometimes that damn kookaburra would go off in the night and all I'd hear is a wee 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 coming from under my bed. I used to have this big minion that spoke when you squeezed it and then in the middle of the night I just heard banana from my bedside drawer. I used to have a builder bear and those voice chips get weird when the batteries are running low. I accidentally stood on one and it called me a whore. The original voice was an owl hooting but I guess that sounds weird when slow and cut off. I had the mistake of falling asleep with a Zuzu pet back in the day and it suddenly turned on and ripped some of my hair off. I had a toy that was a phone. You push buttons and it says stuff. Anyway, I pressed 3 and it was supposed to say I love you, but it was distorted. I distinctly remember being scared of the toy. My brother, who was 4 years older than me, pinned me down and would hold the toy phone up to my ear and spam press 3 until I cried. I remember his argument was, but she loves you. To this day, I cringe hearing I love you in a high pitch, almost grandma-like way. We bought one of those toy lightsabers that would let you make a custom sound go off whenever you swang it. And some kid in the store had previously yelled fuck into it and we weren't able to change the custom sound for some damn reason. So when my nephew received it as a birthday present and tried it out, he was certainly surprised. Fuck! 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 One time my bop it started playing itself. I think it got a score of 20 or 30 and it still haunts me to this day. One time I shoved a towel dinosaur headfirst in my rear. One time during a thunderstorm, every electric toy in the room lit up and made sound all at once due to the lightning. One time when my sister and I were kids, we were playing with my Penelope the Talking Dragon toy that was from a Barbie movie. One day late at night in our kitchen, we were playing with it and it always had this cheery female voice when you pushed its stomach, which has a button that activated its voice lines. Out of nowhere, without the button being pressed, it said in a deep, slow, manly voice, You're so beautiful. Which wasn't one of its voice lines. It scared the heck out of me and my sister, and I still have it to this day, about 19 or so years later, and it has never said that again. My sister used to have a Toy Story doll that would speak when you'd pull the string on the back. Though after a few years, it had stopped saying almost all of its lines. All but one, a very distorted yee that would last anywhere between two seconds and half an hour. I had a Woody toy as well. A decade later, we found it, and he just started screaming. He wouldn't stop until we bashed his head on wood. I don't have a Furby, but I had a Carly doll for my Carly. However, the voice box broke and all Carly ever did was moan in pleasure every time I pressed the button on her chest. Nothing. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, uh, uh, uh. Matt Rose here, and just giving my personal apologies if you're watching this video and someone just walks in at that exact moment. I was a spoiled kid, and so one year for Christmas I got a fur real friend's butterscotch. However, during its final days, the material on the horse's face ripped. I watched the skin and fur of the horse fall off. It didn't stop there though, it kept moving its head from side to side like normal. You could hear the whirs from the machine and the disfigured gnawing sounds it made. I had a robot dog called Biscuit, whilst the size of a golden retriever, and during his later days, Days, he began to turn on all by himself. So sometimes I'd randomly wake up in the middle of the night to Biscuit barking and my dog barking back because she had no fucking clue why he was barking and why he was on a side. I had one of those fish things that ran out of batteries. Well one day it decided to work again. Off and no batteries and for a while every time we went downstairs we heard it. I could be making this up but I think one time we threw it away and it appeared back in the basement. Had this little mini farm set that could make animal noises. For some reason one day it just broke and kept making distorted sounds randomly. It sounds fine at first but you don't know how scary it was to hear the sound of a corrupted cow going ooh at two in the morning. My siblings had this toy and it was a cat piano, but you can make it say words and record things. Somebody pushed the button to hard and it got stuck. Every time that my siblings would play with it, they'd turn on, it'll play its little music thing and it would automatically start screaming. It was my screams that were playing. But the only real memory I have of a toy doing weird stuff is when I was very little and there was this educational toy I had in the closet which I'd forgotten about. One time in the middle of the night I suddenly hear, a what letter makes the sound. My grandma had a pen that played Homer Simpson voice lines when you pressed a button. It worked for about five years, but after a while when you pressed the button it just went <laughs> My little cousin had one of those talking Elmo things. When he was like three or so, he somehow managed to escape his crib. When his mum asked him how, he responded, Elmo helped me, which was immediately followed by the Elmo giggling and saying, Time to play with Elmo! Wasn't mine, but one of my friends Tickle Me Elmo toy went off at 2am in the morning, where it just went off and played a song. He cried, and I think he pissed himself. I once had a robotic Elmo doll that would kick its leg up and do the roly-poly. One night it somehow got activated and started to do the roly-poly, but never said any of the voice lines. I was probably around four at the time, and this scared the living hell out of me, so naturally I bolted to my parents' room crying for help. At the time I didn't realise it, but they were embracing in the act of love as I walked in on them. My seventh grade math teacher had a Tickle Me Elmo on a shelf in his classroom. It was about 15 years old I think, it hadn't worked for years and he thought the batteries were dead as he hadn't replaced them for so long. And then it just randomly moved a little and let out that awful nightmarish Elmo laugh. And after that the head was positioned perfectly so that it was staring straight at me deep into my soul and it haunted me for the rest of the school year. We'll end this video with one final Furby story. This one's quite a poignant one. I had one of the reboot Furbies. A few months or so ago my friend came over and we were playing with it, named it Gluten. The batteries or something were running out because Gluten would talk with a glitched gargle and my friend kept torturing it by shaking it around and pulling its tail, making it puke until it died. I tried replacing the batteries but he still won't turn on. Maybe the true monsters were us all along. So, it's very unusual for me to do a part two to any of my videos, let alone a part three, but I thought I would do a part three to the Furby video and let it be known obviously that I do this of my own free will. We love you. So, what I've done is uh, I've gone back through uh, the YouTube comments and Reddit and Twitter so let's see more about the Furbies, which we all know and love, as well as some other crazy toys that you guys have. Creepy ass motherfuckers wouldn't die, ever. Dead batteries, hasn't been touched in three years, still coos and woos randomly in the middle of the night. I had a Furby that had one eyebrow and I was scared shitless of it, but I had an instinctual urge to act like it didn't scare me by all means, like how a dog or cat must not show its weakness to a predator. I remember when I was in the fifth grade at school, I had this mini Furby boom called a Furbling. I took it with me one day in my school bag and I remember in an English class I heard it go Wah! Did I ever tell you guys about the time my Furby malfunctioned and I had to take its batteries out and I swear as I was unscrewing the plate on the bottom it said Don't do this to me in its stupid little voice. I had a blue reboot Furby in the early 2010s. Occasionally in the middle of the night it would yell in a 40 year old chain smoker's voice Kahete, so hungry. If you ever feel bad about yourself just know that my Furby screamed out of nowhere as soon as I took my clothes off to get dressed so. My mum put mine in the freezer but it wouldn't turn off. Holy fucking shit flippers, this Furby just said MAMA!
Why do its capacitors conveniently provide us Hellspawn with power at 1.30am? My Furby died of a stroke. He acted weird, then let out a minute long burp and closed his eyes forever. My older brother would move mine around my room when I would sleep. I was scared shitless. My dad was one in hospital with suspected malaria and my son left his Furby there accidentally. My poor dad thought he was hallucinating when the thing decided to go off in the middle of the night. One of my Furbies disappeared from a locked box. We looked for it for months. My Furby just said something about the devil having a muscular ass. My sister used to be obsessed. One night she puts her Furby down on her bedside table and nods off to sleep. She wakes in the morning to some deranged mumbling. As she opens her eyes, the Furby on the bedside table was now starting at her with a completely melted face. The bedside light melted the face and made the voice incredibly scary. I tried to beat a Furby to death with a crowbar. Ten swings in, it went okay and died. Broken Furby just said, pushing your luck. I had one as a kid and I thought you had to feed it real food. So I put a raisin in its beak and it broke. I still kept it though and after sitting around for a while, an ant colony formed feeding off of the decaying raisin. We fed ours salt and whatever that did, the Furby had a fucking nervous meltdown. It was making this what noise and was winking and shit. I had a Furby that would occasionally change the channel on my TV when facing it directly. I don't know what toy it was, but my sister had some sort of Furby thing. She was playing with it once when it started talking in a deep distorted voice. She got spooked and threw it at a wall. This angered it. To this day, every time you accidentally bump into it, it goes <coughs> I swear my kid's Furby just said his name is Cthulhu. I had a Furby who wouldn't stop talking one day, so I threw it across the room and it hit a wall. When it did, he made a heart monitor type beeping sound. Once my Furby connected to the radio at 2am and I just heard a police chase in a foreign language and it was the scariest thing of my life ever. One time my Furby glitched and just screamed with its mouth shut. I had an orange Furby once. Then we moved to a new house and I was seven so I screamed, Furby, where are you? Because I wanted my Furby back. Then he responded, Kai in a very deep low battery voice while sitting in one of the many boxes. I was so scared we threw it in the dumpster. One time I woke up in the middle of the night to my Furby rapidly opening and closing its eyes and making what seemed to be all of the programmed noises at once. I used to have a Furby. I put it in paint because I didn't like the colour purple. And now all it does is scream, Eggshells, eggshells, eggshells! Can't wait for this one to be animated, lol. Me and you both, Star Shooter. It's genuinely one of my favourite things to receive artwork from yourselves of a Furby, or a zombie Furby, or a Furby man, or a Furby snake. A terrifying experience with my Furby, where after some time, it just would not sleep. I'd wake up to these sounds of demands for food or strange giggling. The, the worst part is that the Furby was on the shelf right across my bedroom, so I'd wake up and look across the room to it just blankly staring at me like, Oh, night I do nom nom nom. We never had a Furby, but my brother got an animatronic zombie Halloween decoration. It shouts, let me out, let me out. It was turned off, but it still went off. My dad said it went off at three in the morning, screaming, let me out. He had to run outside to try and turn it off before someone called the police or something. My son's toys go off in the middle of the night sometimes. I was walking by a walker he had and it said, keep going. We have a Thomas the Train flashlight that is possessed. It turns itself on randomly and chugs and lights up. You're supposed to pull a trigger to activate it, but it doesn't even pretend anymore. It just goes off when it wants to. My grandma had an old half-working toy that would say, Hooray! Time to go to school! Choose a weapon! It was supposed to say, choose a lesson. My sister had a talking Barney doll that, as the batteries began to die, would randomly turn on and speak in tongues at half speed. Let's make a noise like a dog. Moo! Teddy Ruxpin. Mine picked up the neighbour's phone calls. It even moved its mouth to what they were saying. I used to have a Rugrats watch that used to talk when you'd press the buttons. I accidentally wore it in the shower and after that it would just let out this unforgettable agonising scream. My nephew's dinosaur toy batteries died and its face is stuck like this. Got a toy of the ride vehicle of Start Tours at Disneyland. Brought it up to the hotel room and opened it and turned it in. Within five minutes it was going nuts and would not turn off. Just imagine it being quiet and people are getting ready to sleep and then Start Tours, Start Tours, Start Tours, Start Tours. St I had a horrible doll thing. It was blue, had purple eyes and bright green lips. It was supposed to sing the Skittimaringy dingy dee, skittimaringy doo. I love you. But instead all it says is I love your skin. My daughter 
daughter's toy just said X is the first letter in Exorcist. So not only does this confirm that our house is haunted, but we're being haunted by an illiterate bitch-ass ghost shaking my damn head. Tickle Me Elmo was a fucked up toy. The one in my family had its sensor fucked up and it would only laugh if you rubbed its junk. My dad had a steering wheel that plugged into his PC and he would let me play F1 2001 on it. One day I was racing at Monza and the wheel just started rotating for no reason and getting exponentially faster. I went screaming to my dad that the wheel was broken, we went back to his office and the wheel was spinning so fast that it was shaking the entire table. I'm absolutely sure my daughter's leapfrog toy just said, Ooh. Yummy knockers. When my Jurassic Park brand Velociraptor, which for whatever reason had a realistic dino dong, somehow got stuck on RAW and I had to bury it dick first in the laundry basket to lessen the sound until the battery died. Edit. Found him. I remember when I dropped my Tamagotchi in my drink and didn't notice until the next day, so I drank it and thought I was gonna die. For my birthday one year, my grandmother ordered me a My Twin Doll. It looked just like me. She even had some clothes made for it that matched my favourite outfits. It was so creepy. Oh, it's operated on Stretch Armstrong to check out the goo, then hid the evidence under a pile of clothes in my closet. They only discovered the doll stuck to the floor when they sold the house. I used to be scared by the red screen that the PS2 has if it didn't like your disc. I didn't know what a demon was, so I always thought of evil gorillas stroke apes for some odd reason. I remember being in my elementary school washroom and a kid walked in covered in silver. He said he broke open his etch sketch Completely covered, looked like an alien. I got a slinky as a child, a really nice plastic rainbow one. I lived in a single story house. Oh, it's got a piece of Lego stuck in my ear. I was 21. Not a toy, but there was also this ice cream truck that would go around the neighbourhood and occasionally went, HELLO! in this broken and gargled voice. I cried whenever it went by, and my parents were very understanding as to why. <laughs>